let us discuss about entropy entropy is denoted by the letter s year 1854 rodolf cloche suggested that to describe a thermodynamic system completely along with pressure volume temperature and internal energy we have to use another thermodynamic variable entropy and this is denoted by the letter s and the unit of entropy is joule per kelvin in a reversible process if i consider a reversible process the change in entropy ds is given by dq by t where dq is the heat absorbed or rejected heat absorbed or rejected at temperature t so this is the definition of entropy ds is equal to dq by t if you consider an adiabatic process in an adiabatic process there is no heat exchange so dq will be zero and if dq is zero that means ds is equal to zero or i can say s is a constant so it's constant so adiabatic process is said to be isoentropic process if you have a process in which the in which temperature is constant we call it as isothermal process similarly since entropy is constant we are calling it as isoentropic process so all adiabatic processes are isentropic process or now i can use this property to define entropy entropy of a substance is that physical quantity which remains constant when the substance undergoes a reversible adiabatic change or a substance reversible adiabatic change undergo cheyanengil entropy nalla physical quantity or constant aayirikku so entropy can be said to be is said to be that physical quantity which remains constant when the substance undergoes a reversible adiabatic process okay now let us consider some properties of entropy the entropy is a point function it is a point function and it is not a path function if you consider the work done the work done is a path function whereas entropy is a point function so what is what is the meaning of point function and path function entropy is to be point function because the change in entropy of the system depends only on the initial and final state of the system and it is independent of the path along which the system is passed from initial state to final state so suppose a body is going from this state a to another state b then if i calculate the change in entropy ds the change in entropy ds depends upon only on end points a and b system e path le travel idalum whether system another path le travels idalum or suppose system is moving in some other path then also ningal edu path le suppose this is path p path q and path r system p lude poyalum whether it is in through the path q or r change in entropy same aayirikkum but if you consider the work done work done w calculate cheyanengil ore path rulla work done different aayirikkum because work done depends upon the path function okay now next point is entropy is an extensive variable we have already discussed about extensive variables and in intensive variable extensive variable means the value of this entropy or value of the variable depends upon the amount of matter in the system amount of matter or number of moles in the system amount of matter in the system amount of matter change edil entropy change edu example nammal or system eduthu ee system inde entropy njan measure it suppose this is my system some gas is taken inside a some cylinder or some or container nattu some gas undu eduthu entropy njan measure edu suppose entropy some units are so a few unit entropy und some 10 joule per kelvin aanu now njana system equally divide edu 
Now, if you divide the system equally, done by divide the energy entropy into you. What the entropy 10 joule in 10 joule na kal chhoro da ekio. What the entropy, what the entropy in calculate the lando 10 joule ayri kila. If you want to go 5 joule per kelvin, I am going to give you what I am going to go 5 joule per kelvin. Okay. So entropy in the value, entropy in the value change in the point. I am going to do this. So our system divide him. Amount of matter, amount of entropy change. That means entropy is an extensive variable. Now the unit that I am going to give you definition. I am going to give you dq in the unit joule energy energy and dq. Then Kelvin temperature and the unit Kelvin. So joule per Kelvin will be the unit. Now let us see what is a TS diagram. We already know PV diagram. In a PV diagram, pressure is taken along y-axis and volume is taken along x-axis. Now similarly, in a TS diagram, temperature is taken along y-axis and entropy is taken along x-axis. Now if I plot the adiabatic process in ts diagram we know that adiabatic process is isoentropic process so if i consider an adiabatic process then entropy s yes, will be constant and here our one of the axis is entropy so if i consider adiabatic process since entropy is constant adiabatic process na nammal or parallel line kondayirikku represent cheya and that parallel line will be parallel to temperature axis or straight line parallel to temperature axis will okay now if i consider isothermal process isothermal process in the case the temperature constant and here temperature is one of the axis so temperature y axis il anallathu adondu then isothermal process s in parallel it will so this will be isothermal process and this is your a diabatic process now isochoric process um isobaric process um nam represent cheyanam isochoric process in the graph will be of this shape and isobaric will be of this shape so this is your isochoric and this is isobaric now let us draw carnot cycle in ts diagram we will draw carnot cycle in pv diagram so this is pv diagram pressure along y volume along x axis now isothermal expansion adiabatic expansion isothermal compression and adiabatic compression now if we plot this in ts diagram you have temperature along y axis and entropy along x axis okay now first if i consider the process ab process ab is isothermal expansion for an isothermal process namke s in parallel aayittu or line aayirikku undava so ab ku corresponding aayittu you will have a line so this is your ab process ab now here here you have process c d points are like the bc bc is adiabatic expansion idana nammada curve ivadeyana adiabatic ullathu this is adiabatic curve this e straight line aanu okay so ivada bc ku corresponding aayittu namukku ivada or straight line varu bc then cd again isothermal then d to a again adiabatic so namukku ivada rectangle aayirikku undava ts diagrathile okay so is ivada nammalde pv diagram pv diagram for carnot engine and this is your ts diagram for carnot engine now if you find out the area under car in the ts diagram the area under ts diagram will be heat transferred in the process heat transferred so that is the significance of ts diagram if you consider area in the pv diagram area under pv diagram is the work done that is the significance of pv diagram so ivada nammal ts diagram il area kandal heat transfer aanu kittu whereas pv diagram il work done nammal area kandale work done aanu kittu okay now let us derive the expression for efficiency of a carnot engine from ts diagram so this is our ts diagram now we first this point ne yan s1 nu denote cheyunu and this is s2 now this temperature nu 
this temperature is denoted by T2. Here we have T1. And down. So there can be a question why I T2 and T1 name G2. Because we know that for a Carnot engine always T1 will be greater than T2 because T1 is the source temperature. Source is at high temperature and sink will be at low temperature which is denoted by T2. Okay. Now process, first process. A, B, C, D in name G. Then during process A, B, that is isothermal expansion, Q1 amount of heat system absorb you. Working substance Q1 amount of heat absorb you. BC adiabatic process on the heat absorption or rejection oil. Process C D Q2 amount of heat reject you single D L heat absorption or rejection of illa. Okay. Now the we, we know that the significance of TS diagram is area under the TS diagram will be work will be the heat absorbed. Okay. So if I find out the expression for the heat absorbed by the engine. Heat absorbed by the engine. Heat absorbed in our diana process A B lana Q1 on that will be Q1 will be equal to Q1 and that will be area under A B. So area under A B will be area this will be area A B S2 S1 A. So area AB the total number of the thyroid area will be pro e process AB in the thyroid area. Okay. So this will be equal to height to the room height to T1 on T1 into other the width to it will be S2 minus S1. Area AB S2 S1 this will be heat absorbed by the engine. Now let us calculate the heat rejected by the engine heat rejected that is q2 q2 will be area under cd again number area that will be area c s2 s1 d c or d c s2 s1 d so this whole area we calculate here you know that is from code shady and then this area this is the area Narte Namala Kanda area Q one and another within a Tara with the Muru and area with the Muru and area with so this will be first number of Kanda area okay for the yellow Tara Kanchadan second Kanda area from the Mughalu and the green green color right under okay so if you find out this area this area will be equal to temperature T to height T two on T two into s2 minus s1 now the work done is we know that the work done is equal to q2 minus q1 so sorry why work done will be q1 minus q2 q1 on a larger q1 minus q2 and that is equal to a so q1 minus q2 to substitute t1 into s2 minus s1 minus t2 into s2 minus s1 so S2 minus S1 common outcome, then T1 minus T2 and now this is work done. Now we know that the efficiency eta is equal to useful output W work done by the heat input, heat absorbed. Heat absorbed is Q1, W by Q1. So that is S2 minus S1 into T1 minus T2 by what is Q1? Q1 is T1 into S2 minus S1. So S2 minus S1 and then cancel and back in the T1 minus T2 by T1 and that is equal to 1 minus T2 by T1. That is our expression for efficiency. So our expression for efficiency what are easy method we will calculate. Now this this we will do a simple idea. We the heat absorbed by the engine Q1 and heat absorbed heat rejected by the engine Q2. Instantaneously from the graph, just from the graph itself, the heat converted into work will be equal to the area inside the rectangle. Area A, B, C, D, heat converted into work. So, directly we have this area. Rectangle area. W directly we will be heat converted into, that is the heat converted 
factor into work and that will be the area under the rectangle area a b c d now area a b c d will be equal to a b c d in the rectangle de, say length number of breadth number a d in the side a little b c in the side is t1 minus t2 now within the c d or a b in the side s2 minus s1 on direct number so this will be w direct and work done and calculate here hmm? then q1 going to divide is almost really the look at approach here so anyway this is an easier way to find out the expression for efficiency of a car not engine using ts diagram 